नमस्कार एंड वेलकम अगेन टू प्लेनेट टू सोल एस्ट्रोलॉजी नमस्ते बाबा जी सो एवरी वन कैन सी दैट एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी is with planet to soul astrology this is <laughs> a very wonderful day for me and uh, he really uh, accepted my request to come on our channel and uh, definitely uh, i can see a kind and kind heart and very sweet soul behind his face behind his uh, astrology and behind every episode whatever i have been able to see on his channel that is exotic mm-hmm. astrology basically he is an engineer just now i asked him so he has passed his engineering from chennai and then he did his masters in germany and he is into astrology since 2002 till now into consultation so all of you must visit his website as well as his youtube channel and yes one specific mention about he is a great devotee of shri krishna So if you want to know anything related to bhagavad gita is the correct person you should approach and you know learnings are very very much necessary whenever you are into occult field and not only occult field learnings are always mandatory for us because our foot or or our feet should be on ground always we should not fly high because we should know that where our destination is and that is why this gita learnings are very much necessary in our life so welcome to planet to soul astrology baba ji thank you very much uh, sunil ji for the invitation uh, it's been quite some time when we had uh, like uh, had this mail exchange and finally we are talking together and uh, great uh, you as you said you will be interviewing many other astrologers uh, i am also eagerly waiting to uh, see their interviews and today the topic that i have chosen is uh navamsha and how to see your career uh career. Progress, uh and how to use the navamsha for career perspective and uh i have also seen many of your navamsha videos and as you were telling that it's one of your favorite topics <laughs> yes so you can always uh, correct me when i am going off track or if i speak something which is not according to what you think is right so the navamsha chart as uh, we know is a very important chart and uh, there are a lot of uh, theories about the navamsha this a uh, lot of information available and i had done a detailed uh, series with vishti larsen uh, some time back in my channel so i would request uh, each one of you to please go and watch that because uh, that's really a masterpiece when it comes to navamsha so there you will find all the details of you know when which house in navamsha means what what does a planet mean in a particular house especially in the kendras and the trines so today what i would like to discuss is uh, from a career perspective now when people think of navamsha they think of oh it's only for marriage you know it's like <laughs> uh, it's the chart for marriage you know you don't need it for anything else ultimately and sometimes people say that uh the navamsha is you know activated after a particular age which is also not correct it's uh, active from the time uh, of conception actually so the navamsha chart is um, not only a chart of um, marriage or your you know, relationships it's it's a chart which tells you uh, how do you behave uh, internally when it comes to a particular aspect of your life because why do, why do, why at all do they say that this is the chart of marriage because uh, as one of my gurus he was telling one that who you are <laughs> internally that comes out 100% in front of your spouse so your spouse is like the living navamsha why do they say like this not that navamsha is your spouse's chart i am not saying that <laughs> but what your navamsha chart depicts who you are internally that your true real face your spouse is seeing and experiencing that 100% 24 by 7 so therefore they say if an avamsha is uh, good it is strong your married life can uh, have uh, good opportunities you know you, you can have a better married life this is the reason not that there will be no challenges and troubles and you will just have a rosy time all this that's not the reason <laughs> so the navamsha is a very important chart which tells about the strength of uh, of all the nine planets not only in d1 in all the other varga charts it's really very crucial so 
therefore when we see namamsha it's important that we don't think suppose uh, a planet is placed in a particular house in a particular dignity it's important that we do not limit it only to marriage or only to relationships because that dignity will be uh, has to be considered in, in all the other varga charts so especially in the dashamsha chart which we uh, see for career and for uh, you know contribution to society and all this so today i have not taken any examples uh, this is just a, a small video which we i will let me really discuss where you know some principles you can use and if you like this approach then you can comment below then maybe some other time we can do with some examples or we can uh, have a webinar later on navamsha uh, so regarding career when you talk of career it's very important that uh, you check the trines of the navamsha okay because uh the navamsha strains uh, will tell you about your uh, talent which you have for many many lifetimes okay? like uh, today i just went live in my channel before some time of recording this video in that i was speaking the same uh, i was speaking uh, about a lady who i had uh, whose horoscope i had seen recently so uh, she is a doctor by profession it's very interesting the external profession that we are in that can come from the lagna chart many times but when i was talking to her she was telling me i asked uh, she asked she had taken a career uh, consultation from me she said that so i want to open a restaurant <laughs> and i was like oh this is not very usual you don't hear many times you know you will hardly hear doctors telling i want to open restaurants you know it happens sometimes but i have not heard it many times so i was like okay uh, what is that in the chart which is pushing her to change her line change her domain and you know go towards restaurant uh, business and all this and she said that you know i am an expert cook you know i can cook very nicely and all my friends praise me and also it was this cooking thing was coming again and again so then i was seeing uh, in the lagna chart what was there there was nothing so significant which was indicating uh, cooking or you know martian trait or anything but then that's the magic i just opened the navamsha and i saw this mars was there in the fifth house okay so as vishti larsen had said in the series uh, that any planet in the trines of navamsha that can show your talents and because mars is representing fire if it is in a venusian sign it can definitely show traits related to cooking 100% uh, so when when you talk of career you have to understand uh, are you talking of simply your job because your job may be uh, something different and you may not feel that is like your career or life purpose it could be just like a what do you say a way of earning your bread or living or your rent or anything which you need to sustain in this world but when i am talking of uh, career here i don't mean just on a monetary sense uh, that which sustains you i am speaking on a larger context that you not only feel that i am doing something but you also feel that i am doing something which is in line with my own nature and which is also going to help everybody else so that is how i would define career here in this context of the navamsha so very important that we check the planets that are in the trines and if those planets are well placed then there is very high probability that we can use those traits those traits of those planets when it comes to our profession also because that is something which is inherently there within us now if that planet is not well placed if it is in a sign of debilitation then what could happen is we want to do it but we are not able to do so then we may we may practice it and we may gain mastery out of it as uh, uh, sunil ji very beautifully said in the beginning that we should always be in a learning mode okay so even if a planet is exalted in the navamsha trines it doesn't mean you should stop learning but we need to learn irrespective of uh, any placement but if it is in a sign of debility or an enemy sign or not in a great sign for that particular planet we need to see how we can like fifth house uh, if it's in the fifth house then we need to practice it ourselves and if it is in the ninth house we will have to take guidance from a guru from a guide a counselor or a coach and then that guide can help us uh, guide can guide uh, us through that so uh, the, these these trines are very important and the trinal lords are also very important so once you once you identify uh, which traits are there in this person 
then then what we need to do is we need to see how is the d1 chart uh, reciprocating with this so for example somebody has you know like in this case somebody has you know mars in the fifth house of d9, d9 uh, chart and suppose it would happen uh, that in a in that person's d1 chart the third house is extremely strong you know, the person has you know the third lord in lagna lagna lord in third or you know, third lord in the tenth or tenth lord in the third when you have when you, when you see these placements then you know that uh, externally in the outer world whatever this person does the third house is really going to be something uh, which is very crucial uh, that means the person will do some kind of training some kind of consulting some kind of you know, it, it could be you know youtube it could be anything you know social media all of these things now it would happen that you do not see any cooking or anything in this case in the lagna chart so then how do you see then you could say that okay you will be into consulting but you could make you know youtube videos where you know you are showing people how you are cooking so internally you are doing something which you like that is coming from the d9 chart and then externally what you are doing with that you are you are you know showing it to others you know you are using the social media platforms to showcase it to others okay so and if suppose your uh, if the 10th house is very prominent in somebody's lagna chart then you might become a manager of a company where you, know, you might be the head chef of a company you know, because you are managing you know 20 30 other chefs uh, who are taking guidance from you okay because 10th house is managerial authority okay so therefore uh, when we see sometimes in the chart that okay the third house is strong the person should be into consulting or you know, like giving training the question is uh, training related to what it can be anything it can be you know, like anything to do with astrology or you know, cooking or painting dancing singing anything it can be you know technical science so this is something which uh, i i always use when i look at charts and i always see that they work very brilliantly especially uh, um, and the second thing which I would like to say is the Kendras. So the Navamsha Kendras are also very beautiful. They, they will tell you in the external world the traits which you might have to use irrespective of what you are doing in your life. Okay. So for example, uh, if, you, if you see that suppose somebody has a Jupiter in the Kendra of Navamsha, then then what I have seen sometimes is uh, even uh, they may be in any domain externally, you know, they may be into like sports or any domain, just any domain. But within that, they will have to take uh, some kind of a Jupiterian role because uh, this Jupiter is in the uh, Kendra. Kendra is the physical existence of the person. So, so it's like saying from the past lives, that is something which you have been using in the uh, physical realm. Okay. So therefore, even though you may uh, be into sales externally, if the third house and Mercury is linked in the D1 chart, but this because of this Jupiter in the Kendra of Lagna, the Navamsha chart, it could happen that you are you know you are not doing sales yourself. You are training other people how to be a good salesman. Okay? That's something which I have seen. And yes, I can. Uh, uh, sorry, I can relate to that. I have my Jupiter in first house of Navamsha. Oh, so I throughout my life I I served government, but uh, internally I was very much connected to akal, or internally I was very much connected to spirituality healings, and maybe because of that I worked in hospitals also, and ultimately I am into Jyotish means I knew Jyotish from very beginning, but I I never thought that I will convert my hobby into a paid job also sometimes you know so this is really very brilliant because your kendra houses or specifically your jupiter decides a lot here one thing i would like to ask you that you talked about trine houses in the naumansh kundali but when we talk about dhan arjan or what we are saying this is something like i like this career i want to pursue this but whether this will give me benefit whether this will give me profit because many people like many things but always that stream is not meant for them that could be their hobby also like she likes cooking what you gave example maybe she likes cooking that is why she feels that i can open a restaurant and i can run it very nicely 
but whether your second lord that is dhanasana whether you are able to earn through that hobby or earn through that career whatever you are seeing from shrine or kendra houses do you justify this things also this planetary position that uh, artha trikona also has to play very important role yeah yeah definitely what i have seen in my limited experience is uh, the the when you're talking of success like at a big scale or at any level you know, in the lagna chart the second house sixth house tenth house and the 11 these four houses are really crucial and if somebody wants to do things at a bigger scale you know like opening many restaurants managing then the 10th house and the 11th house has to be linked in the dashas mm. but suppose if that is not there then it could happen that the person opens a restaurant and like in this case she she may be very happy you know managing a small restaurant and she is very happy doing that she may not be having that much business acumen uh, which mm. will come from these houses the earth houses you know how to expand you know like how to magnify things you know she may do it out of passion but if these houses are also involved then i have seen the person naturally is gifted uh, to uh, sell things and you know gain money so for example there is one of my friend he has a very strong uh, second house and he has a very strong 11th house i know <laughs> so what he used to do is incredible when his parents would give him you know some pocket money you know, in the childhood and i have seen sometimes the parents are also you know uh, pushing them towards you know this finance sector knowingly or unknowingly so generally in our childhood what used to happen you know now uh, when we used to get uh, uh, suppose okay you finish this homework you get good marks you know you will get some like uh, 100 rupees or something you know extra money <laughs> so what he used to do is uh, he used to whatever money he used to get he used to take 10 rupees and he would uh, put it in a saving box hmm. from from his childhood he was like this and then later he was like very unique i never uh, i never thought in this uh, way but when when i looked at his chart i saw that uh, the lagnesh and the second lord and the 11th lord these three are having yoga so that means the person is always calculating you know second house is calculation okay. numbers uh, second house is mathematics also anything to do with business accounts and uh, banking sector all this is the second house because they count always i saw these three planets are having uh, yogas among each other so therefore now now if something similar happens in the case of this lady then this lady will also be like that you know uh, whenever she cooks something uh, she will say i will sell this you know in a app you know in swiggy or something like this i will not only keep it to myself i'll sell it <laughs> and then she will earn from it but if that is not there she will be like okay i have made it and i'll click photos and i'll send to some of my friends and relatives and then i am done <laughs> yes absolutely because second house also falls fourth to your 11th house so that is your your inner emotions related to your finances you know that is the correct uh, thing how we deal with our finances how we deal with our money that is also that is why we always say that that should be connection between 11th and your second lord so that you can save money more right so <laughs> this this house should not be more afflicted otherwise Uh, it it will give you scarcity or some people say that i am not getting liquidity of money but you know you very rightly said that navmanch is not only for uh, you know seventh house it is definitely for all all the all the sectors of our life we can definitely see career also through navmanch and uh, about trine whatever you said so if someone doesn't have any planets in trine houses so this was the example which you gave about that female she told you that she had this uh, you know affinity towards working uh, in a restaurant or something cooking correct but how we come to know that whatever career i am into already so how will be my career judge from my navmanch kundali yes so therefore what i see is first of all i see okay this person is in a particular career so then i try to see how if 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 the navamsha strains or the kendras you know they are somehow supporting this uh, this current profession which this person is in okay or the other way around i try to see 
how can I put something from these planets of the Navamsa, which are in the triangles or in the Kendras, into his or her existing job? That works brilliantly. Like, as I said, you know, I, I've seen people with Jupiter in the Kendra of Navamsa. So sometimes they say, oh, my job is this. Uh, I'm doing this. You know, I'm into project management or something like this. And then they, they ask me, that, what should I do? Should I continue in this? Then I say, you can try to see if there is a role where you can act as a you know, guide or as a mentor for some of your other, other colleagues or teammates. So then when they're hearing it, they're like, okay. I never thought of this. I can try this. <laughs> so I, I try to see if there is a harmony or I can somehow invest some of these traits. But now suppose I see that uh, there is none of the these things from the Navamsa is reflecting to the person's Lagna chart, which means the person is doing something which is not very much, which is not very much in line with his uh, own inner nature. You know? So then I hmm. see that becomes just like a means of sustenance. And mm. suppose in this person's horoscope, the 10th house and the 11th house, the 6th house, 2nd house is very, very, very powerful. You know, they're like phenomenal yogas. Then what happens, this person tells that, uh, I have seen in my experience that, yeah, my job is not something which I like, but it gives me a lot of money. So I'm enjoying, I'm doing it. <laughs> not that I like this as a person, but it gives me so many things, you know, because of the 10th house, the 11th house. So I'm doing it. So, Therefore, uh, what I try to do is because uh, when you see somebody is doing something and another person who is doing something which is in line with their own nature, then the progress will be much higher because then the biggest thing happens is the person doesn't need any motivation. The person is self-motivated. always. The person thinks that, yes, uh, I need to do it myself and the person will do it. Okay. And if the person is willing to listen, many times people, the clients, they are not willing to listen. You know? They are like, no, no, we want this. Tell us how can we get this. You know? So if they are uh, behaving like that, then, then I can't help much. But if somebody is willing to listen to us, then what I tell them is, yes, these are your internal traits. This is how you behave internally. These are the things which you like actually. So why not try to uh, take up these areas within your existing profession? Okay? And then there are so many things, you know, as you rightly said, you know, in the horoscope, you know, sometimes the dustanas are activated in the lagna chart. Then the person is thinking, oh, I don't have money, you know, then you can't say, you know, just go and play in violence, you know, it may not pay your rent. So, so, <clears throat> so what I have seen is, uh, uh, apart from astrology, I have seen for the Navamsha's traits to work properly, I have seen um, a stable family, a childhood upbringing is very important you know, because then the person is more in line with uh, his or her own nature. You know. And some some decent stability is required in the married life or in the, in the career field or even in a person's health. Which means suppose a person doesn't have a job, you know, then you tell them that, oh, you have you know, this Venus in Navamsa's ninth house, why not go and join a painting school? Then the person will be like, but then paint, I may paint, I may like to paint, but that may not bring me money. So uh, I have seen these factors, the Deshkal Patra is also very important. If, if a person very is born important. in a place, if a person is born in a place or a person stays in a place where, you know, uh, these things are uh, downplayed sometimes, you know, then the person, these traits may not come out lively. Or if the person is in a place where, you know, these traits are uh, always in limelight you know? then mm. the person may feel more comfortable in revealing all this and bringing these things back from the back of his mind to his uh, life you know, real life so so many things are there you know deshkal patra is there and the person's lagna lord is also there the lagna lord is very important because the lagna lord will tell us uh, on the lagna chart it will tell us you know now, how much determined are we? Because many times when we bring out these traits from the Navamsa to the Lagna chart, we may face severe opposition. But does the person have has that necessary courage which is required to bring it out to the society and to showcase that, yes, this is who I am. That was not who I was. <laughs> so Absolutely. the Lagnesh is very important. I think Sun, Sun, Mars, and Jupiter and the Lagna Lord. They these four planets are really very really crucial when it comes to you know 
uh, doing things even if others may not like you doing that but i will do this because i know it is right and this should be done and because uh, it has to be done that's like a call for dharma as jupiter and sun as it's like that so others may not like it my family members may criticize me they may not appreciate me they may say you are wasting your life my friends may be doing better than me in my profession but i will still do this because this is what i think should be done and this is what i think is right for me so therefore uh, when you see uh, the d1 then you can know that how much uh, will these traits come outside okay and rarely will you find a very good d9 a very bad d1 or a very good d1 or a very bad d9 you will rarely find charts like this you will always find you know that in some charts the d1 is saying that the person has more courage but the navamsa is not strong so the person doesn't have that inner confidence to bring that trait out sometimes it is the opposite the person has a lot of inner belief but not the external confidence to bring it outside okay so i would say uh, we have to check in detail how do we how are these traits flowing from the navamsa to the d1 chart and we can also extrapolate this to the d10 chart and we can see how how these energies are favoring out there sometimes it happens a planet can be very well placed in d1 and if you go to d10 uh, sorry in d9 it was well placed and in d10 it is not well placed okay so then it means that when the person is trying to uh, take that trait to the profession the person is facing a lot of obstacles because the ability is there inherently there is no shortcut of uh, there is no shortage of talent or you know knowledge but when the person is trying to uh, bring this to the career side the d10 the person is facing a lot of obstacles <laughs> and then the yeah, d1 so chart will tell you yeah the d1 will tell happen. you does the person have that necessary courage to continue or not because when a planet is in debility in d10 the dasha of that planet is active even if it is well placed in d9 you may sometimes feel in that career uh, in that career world that uh i need to put more efforts okay so then the d1 will tell you that will the person put those efforts and continue that or the d1 is not strong enough the person will like okay i like to do it but there's too much opposition do it i'm not doing this yes <laughs> yes absolutely because here then i i think your ascendant lord in your navamsh kundli also plays very important role because how strong you are and how is your courage lord so ascendant lord and your third lord have to be very good uh, you know friendship or they should be aligned in a very well manner so that you can pursue your career as well not only your hobbies but your career also has to be you know whatever work you are into i am not satisfied i am not getting answers uh, i do not mingle with my senior so many things people are asking <laughs> when we do career consultation the first thing that i'm i'm not uh, having good co connectivity with my subordinates or my seniors are not happy with me or i'm not getting the creditability of my own work someone yes. else is taking my creditability so Correct. here i i i feel that your ascendant lord your ascendant really plays very important role that how strong and then as you very uh, very rightly said that your surya and mangal that how dominating you are on others how your impression goes on others that also plays very maybe you are not good at work but you are very good at handling the people correct so that people are after you <laughs> they yes. know you are not good in work but still they want you so this is a, a very very nice topic you have uh, chosen uh, to talk about and uh, one more thing i would like to ask you here how you will decide that uh this career will give lot of money uh, to this person or you know many many ask us that uh, 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 whether i will become millionaire or trillionaire <laughs> of money so so many questions you know physically comes to us and uh, how you decide any limitations or whether we can draw a boundary that this is the exact uh, you know saturation point that you will earn this much only whatever you are earning now above this you will not go so how can we see that in navamsh as well uh, well we can see that definitely so first thing i see is uh, now many people many times when i say this people don't like they disagree with me but i have seen this working that's you know deshkal patel 
let me explain with an example. We'll come to the Navamsa later. But uh, so, for example, if some let let's take you know maybe a multi-billionaire, you know, like uh, some big billionaire in India. Now uh, that person has a uh, child. Now that person's child. So that person, uh, his child has you know, his son has you know, maybe you know Mars in tenth house, and the dasa becomes active. <laughs> Now that 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 boy will not deal in you know hundreds or thousands or lakhs. That boy will be dealing in billions. You know? mm. <laughs> so tenth house will show you management. But mm. if a person is you know in India, there is this you know uh, the Indian Administrative Service. That person is also managing IAS, and IPS officer also has managerial role. Politician also has managerial role. <laughs> sometimes uh, I get uh, kundalini of politicians who sometimes ask that, sir, uh, okay, the tenth house is active, but this person may become a MLA or the person may become an MP also, <laughs> or if he already a MP, the person may become a prime minister you know, or in anybody like that. so. The Deshkal Patra is very important when we uh, decide all this first. That's what I see, which means where is this person born? What kind of a family is this person born? What is the lineage? You know, <laughs> because many times uh, if the if the if the family, the parents, or you know the grandparents, you know, if they are very much knowledgeable in a particular field, then it's uh, it is highly probable that uh, that person will also have some genes, you know, by science also that is being proven. Uh, but that doesn't mean the person cannot uh, do something else. But then the probability increases more a bit that the person is more successful in that particular field because then he or she can use the existing connections from his parents and you know, the family tradition. So, and the mm -hmm. person will know all the secrets, all the ins and outs. You know? So that is something which is very important. So then we know what is like the base where the person will play. And when it comes to external finances, uh, I always see uh, the second, sixth, tenth, and eleventh, and I have seen in charts where you know uh, they are like uh, dealing with you know millions and you know crores, lakhs. I have seen now uh, almost every planet, all the nine planets, they are sitting in nakshatras of planets which are related to these houses. Okay, so mm -hmm. for example, I have seen uh, the second lord sitting in. Um, Let's take an example. If you take Aries Lagna, for example, so in Aries Lagna, we have Saturn as the 10th Lord, 11th Lord, and Venus is the second Lord, Mercury is the sixth Lord. So, the most powerful houses for finances are the, uh, the 10th and the 11th. So, that means if, if a planet is sitting not in 10th or 11th house but in nakshatras which are ruled by Saturn, so for example, Anuradha Nakshatra. So now, if a Aries, if, if a Aries Lagna person or uh, Pushya Nakshatra, for example, so suppose a Aries Lagna person you know, has uh, you know Mangal, Mars in Pushya Nakshatra, <laughs> then this Mars is sitting in the fourth house. Now it is in debility. You will say, oh, you will lose all finances, you will lose money, you will lose that, you will lose this, you will lose that. You know, your life is finished. <laughs> But then when the Dasha is activated, this person is like making thousands and lakhs. You know, how, how in the universe is he making that? Because the planet and the nakshatras, they are working in harmony. Now, because cancer is a sign of debilitation, Pushya is in cancer and Mars is debilitated there. So he will make some kind of a compromise with his dharma or he will make a compromise with himself that, yeah, I know this is not right or I don't want to do this. I wish it would could have been like this. It should have been like this. It might have been like this or it could have been like this. It can be like this, but uh, he will, he or she will compromise with that because the debility gives you a feeling that it's okay to lower your standard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why they okay. say, you know, when a planet is in debility, the word which is used is Nietzsche. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. As they say in Hindi, you know, they bought Nietzsche some card me. Nietzsche means the person has is ready to compromise with his ideals. Okay. But because he is in the nakshatra of Saturn, which is the lord of the 10th and the 11th, the person is earning like anything. And then uh, this planet. Uh, Mars in the Navamsha will tell me to what extent is the person actually becoming happy from this earning. Yes. 
or the person is just filling bank balance what is the mm. person doing after all <laughs> so therefore yeah, if in the lagna chart these planets are very prominent the 10th or lord 11th lord 6th lord 2nd lord also then irrespective of you like it or you don't you hate you enjoy you don't enjoy you are neutral you will get money you will you know, have finances you will become rich irrespective of anything else but will you be happy at the end of your life when you are like retired or when you have left your business will you feel that my life was worth it <laughs> that has to be seen from the navamsa that has to be seen from the uh, power of these planets you know the dasha lords in, in the navamsa so if they are good then you will feel that oh yeah uh, my life went good i wish uh, it could have been more it could have been longer you know but that's not out of fear of death you will feel that yes i i was so happy i contributed in this way i wish i could have lived another 100 years i could have done it again all over again <laughs> so therefore if a person is just asking on a monetary sense what will fill my bank balance then mm -hmm. we just have to see the lagna and we have to see these placements Absolutely. but if the person is asking like the person is in 50s or you know 60s and yes i have earned sufficiently everybody is settled i am done no worries of finance what should i be doing now should i stay in this or should i change my domain should i have a happy, how should how will be my ending be and all this you know then we must check the navamsha <laughs> right right so uh, navamsha uh, in short is our live mirror always with us so you can see yourself in navamsha what you are actually so uh, this is really very good and one last uh, last uh, thing what i wanted to ask you that uh, many people ask that which career i should choose you know this is the already existing career we are talking about but which career i should go into because uh, even though person is an engineer but we see that person is working in different domain as you said before so uh, how you will choose and how we can guide through naumansh that yes this career is best for you so you should keep this as a first priority yeah so as i said uh, if in in that case when it comes to career the kendras are also very important in the navamsha so so for example i have seen uh, because i am from the it sector you know data science machine learning artificial intelligence i have seen there are many people uh, that i know and i have seen some of their charts who are like very good with data science you know calculation numbers you know? hmm. Uh, so for them i have seen because who is the cargo for calculations it's mercury after all and sometimes it is also the lord of the sixth house of the d9 because that can also give you you know uh, uh, calculations and you know figuring out all the details like a virgo does which is different this is you know for this is credit this is debit what not this is you know this is increment this is uh, like tax and all this so i have seen if mercury is uh, in the kendra of uh, the navamsha chart Uh, either in first fourth seven ten then i have seen that these per, these people they will naturally be able to work in a mercurian domain because if i talk about my domain you know like data science there is calculation there are numbers but there are so many other things which has nothing to do with calculations and numbers you know sometimes you need to see you know all this you know big big graphs and you need to understand where the business is moving it's like business intelligence what are the things that are which things are giving me profit which are giving me loss that's more for jupiterian thing you know for that you need jupiter in the kendra which will tell you okay overall your graph is going up in this area is going down so depending on the planets in navamsha's kendra uh, i uh, i try to suggest the person that within your existing field uh they can talk to some career counselor who can guide them in that particular field okay these are the different options mm -hmm. where you can use these uh, trades because i just give an example of my domain there are like 100 types of endless, job postings endless yes within, within my domain itself you know, like minimum 10 to 12 i can quote now itself you know, like business analyst business intelligence uh, analyst or you know, data analyst data scientist so many i can quote like 10 oh. 12 now itself but all of them will have different traits which uh, will be required and depending on which trait is there in the navamsha which planet represents which trait uh, those things we have to see if you are able to uh, 
problem you are able to be in a career related to that okay then you will uh, be naturally successful and uh, you will and you can ultimately you can try to think what what is my career all about you know it's very if you if you try to think uh, like a simple man then you will understand so for example if i go and tell somebody uh, okay this person is into managing databases so then how, how will an astrologer find out which which is the house of database it's impossible <laughs> but then if you try to think what is a database after all it's a place where you store things it's like a place of security it's a place where you can fall back all this <laughs> so which is that house in the horoscope which tells you that you can always fall back it's the fourth house because that's the house of the home that's your security that is where you can go back always so i have always seen fourth house and 10th house when it is linked person if the person is into it the person is into some kind of database administrator job or you know, database management or something like this then you have you know like network security now you may think oh what's network security you know kanasara does not say about <laughs> network security <laughs> but what security security is mars right it's finally you know the sixth house you know fighting defending that's why mars is the karga of the sixth house he is not only karga for people say mars shows you know fighting aggression but mars is also defense you need to defend also mm. sometimes so if mars is there you can be a good hacker you know ethical hacker or if rahu mars is linked you know you will go and you know <laughs> you will do unethical things okay so therefore if we, line. yeah if we try to think like a child okay network security what is it ultimately trying to protect something from somebody that's exactly the work which a mars does because whatever you see and do you think and you touch you feel you eat you hear is all under the nine planets there is nothing beyond <laughs> these nine planets nothing you know? is beyond that yeah, absolutely so as a child you have to try to think this person is telling about this domain okay what does what does he achieve at the end what is the end accomplishment then we try to correlate with the planet okay at the end he is managing so it should be something to do with sun or could be saturn at the end he is counting so it could be mercury at the end he is guiding it's jupiter at the end he is protecting so it's mars <laughs> or if it's you know all this you know you user experience mobile development app development that's when venusian rule you are trying to make something look good feel good appear good better than what it is actually <laughs> that's what is being yes, yes. actually you know, so if we try to see in that way we can actually help uh, whoever is asking yeah. you know, what career should i choose and then we can try to uh, see which yes. domain they should be going. nature nature of planets play very important role yes the basics astrology basics that is why basic <laughs> once basic has to be very powerful if you want to read planets you know and once you are able to read planets definitely you are able to read everything lying beneath this you know planets and this is called occult what we are trying to dig down you know but still we feel that we are incomplete always so baba ji it was wonderful talking to you same here you have shared very good pearls with our viewers and i hope that i will see you soon on my channel and i wish you all the very best for your future my blessings are there with your channel Thank with you you may achieve all the uh, good things whatever you deserve and you desire so <laughs> thank you thank you thank, thank you so, you so much. i wish much. you the Namaste. same and uh, for your channel thank you very much thank you so very much